Hi, it's Lisa. One of my viewers asked me about a video that they saw, and this video was by BioLean, and it was a reaction to the World Health Organization report about processed meat causing cancer. I watched a bit of the video and I also went to the link that he provided. The link that he provided was eating anything at any time increases cancer risk. It was very misleading because this link that BioLane linked to was about women who ate anything at any time. So these women tended to be younger, had a higher BMI, were less physically active, were more likely to smoke and less likely to undergo lower endoscopy or regularly use multivitamins. In addition, participants who reported that I eat anything I want, anytime I want, consumed more fat, red meat, processed meat, regular soda, and total calories, but less fiber, fruits, and vegetables. So he was using this link to say that eating anything at any time causes cancer, but that's not what the context of the study is. And other things that he mentioned in the video were quite typical of what meat eaters would say to defend their actions. They were saying that smoking is a greater risk than processed meats and that cohort studies are not reliable. I was reading another article about a scientist who worked on the World Health Organization's report on red and processed meats. And this scientist is a vegan because of her research and she answers all the questions that people tend to have about the report. She is an associate professor in the Division of Cancer Epidemiology at USC who has long studied genetics, the environment and diet as it relates to cancer risk. Her answer to the pushback from the beef lobby is that our response is that the evidence for processed meat is very strong and consistent across studies done in North America, Europe, Japan and Australia. For the evaluation we considered only those studies that had considered carefully all possible factors that could be correlated and be associated with cancer, what we call confounders in epidemiology, as well as sources of error that could inflate our results, what we call biases, as well as random chance. There were 18 large prospective studies with data available. Of these, 12, which included the largest studies, showed positive associations with processed meats. The chances that confounders could explain this when the data comes from different parts of the world and were carefully considered is unlikely. Also, we see a dose response effect between higher intake and higher risk, which suggests that random chance, bias or confounding are unlikely to explain this. Moreover, the mechanistic evidence for an association between red meat and processed meats and cancer was found by the working group to be strong. Even though the relationship between cancer and processed meat or red meat intake might not be as strong as smoking, it's still a risk factor and there was still evidence to be found. The other thing is that red meats and processed meats are not just cancer causing. They also contribute to heart disease and diabetes because of their saturated fat and cholesterol content. They contain estrogens and they contain the cooked meat carcinogens, they putrefy in your colon. So there's a variety of reasons to avoid red meat and there's basically no reason to eat it except for social convenience or taste but that really has nothing to do with health. If you can cut out processed meats and red meats from your diet and even all animal source foods and go vegan that's the best thing that you can do for your health so why not do that? Why try to defend red meat consumption when you don't have to eat it?